Good afternoon, YouTube. It's your man, Joe Page. Coming to you live, live on YouTube. I want to talk about a situation that happens, that's ha it's happening around the world, and it's an awful thing. It's human trafficking. Now, the history of it goes back to, as far as back to Rome. As you know, Italy, you know, the Romans were, had slaves, and they often human trafficked across the world, you know, from Africa to some parts of Asia, India, you know, and good parts of Europe. Um, you ever saw the movie Gladiator? You remember that there, there, there were many different races, not just Africans. You have Germanians, which were Germans. You had some Spaniards. You had um, several different, you know, you know, several different people of different races and cultures. I was watching a uh, TV show a while back, uh, Elliot Ness, and the um, what's the, uh, I know the it's, it's based on a, it's based on a, a, a Elliot Ness and the um, the Untouchables. Now you know, everybody remember the, you know if you remember it was a you know the movie with Kevin Costner and Sean Connery, but it was based on a series starring um, Robert Stack. You know he used to be on the uh, used to be original host of um, Unsolved Mysteries if y'all remember that show, and it's based on the story of Alien Ness who was an IRS agent. You know he was the guy who bust Capone, and there was a part where they talk about white slavery. Here's this: white slavery does not exist. It's slavery, period. It doesn't matter your color. It's slavery. And um, what it is that newspapers back then and a lot of um, the mainstream would try to make it more sympathetic or try to separate from regular slavery. What, go, what involved in human trafficking is also sex trafficking also, where often you get not just women, but young boys and children and they take them to different places around the world. Now, you obviously on TV in the news, is, or you see like women from China or some part of Asia, but quite often, don't forget, you know, Mexico, um, a lot of women from Eastern and Western Europe. And, um, you know, and that's when the part where they do white slavery, when you take the women from Eastern and Western Europe. It's just slavery, period. And America had a hand also in human trafficking. It was like along with countries like Spain and Portugal, that um you know they're involved in, in slavery in America. And this is how funny it is. Let's think about this. Britain, even though it did had uh, its hand in slavery, it ended its part of slavery about mm, six to seventy years before America did. And Britain was also when in the war eighteen twelve they offered freedom to slavery to fight for slaves to fight against the, the, the Americans. And that's why, you know, many, there was quite a few um, slaves that joined in the, in the fight in 1812. That's where, you know, if you, if you listen to the, um, the uh, Pledge of Allegiance, not the Pledge of Allegiance, um, the uh, National Anthem, that part where they cut out, well, about slaves, you know, and you gotta think of this. The song was an officially American song, the, the, the National Anthem, till about the 50s. You know, and they knew about that part, that verse about the um, going after slaves. They cut that out. That's that part when they dun dun dun, dun when kind of like we don't have nothing between to the next to the next um, verses. But like I said, human trafficking happens because people demand certain things, and they can afford it. They get somebody else to do it for them. You know, like you know, people who like this one thing is like you got people from who come across the border. You got people called coyotes. They're more like um, distributors for humans, you know. And there's money in human trafficking, billions, you know. And people make it off of the suffering of the human beings, you know. And most people, sometimes they come because they want to change their environment. A good majority of the people that are human trafficking are poor, you know, because they can't afford to travel and, you know, they, they sell their own bodies so they can get to a certain place, especially in America. America has always been that country where, you know, we have democracy and freedom, but we're not the greatest country in the world. As you know, if you watch news lately, the current um, uh, administration don't want people to vote. They want to hold elections. Well, man, it's not going to happen. Because you got people who are senators and congressmen who depend on the votes to keep their jobs. They, 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 some of these guys have been through three or four presidents already. So what's one more to them? Let's realize this. 
Human trafficking happens because certain things are made illegal, especially, you know, prostitution. And that's one of the factors for human trafficking is prostitution. Some countries have made prostitution illegal. Here's a good example right here. The state of Nevada. Prostitution is illegal in you know, only 10 counties. Um, there's a show called The Care House. There's a guy, who, you know, he passed away years ago. This guy, I forgot his name. I forgot the guy's name. But um, there's a series that used to be on TV called Care House. Where he, he owned a brothel. And the thing is, this is this because the fact is about supply and demand. Now, people call, you know, you know, prostitution an ugly thing. And it is a crime. But here's the thing, listen, listen to this. If you take and decriminalize prostitution, you take money out of criminals' hands. When you make it legal, like, here's good, like this. Like, um, you, can, you can actually create a brothel system. You know, make it go to women. You know, you put in you put in safeties like check IDs, you know, drug testing, STD tests, you know, protection for the women. I mean, if you do that, you know what you're gonna do? Prostitution is a billion dollar industry, and what it does it cuts out, you know, the criminal aspects of it. Back in like, you may I talked about the thing about guy Elliot Ness. He was in the early 30s of the, of the um, Prohibition era, where alcohol was illegal. And guys like Al Capone, uh, Dutch Schultz, um, Lucky Luciano were making money, because they were getting money from, they were getting alcohol from Canada and bringing it across to America. Yeah, you can't forget, you know, you know a lot of criminals did criminal prizes with countries like, you know, Mexico and Canada, because they were close to our American borders. And they made money off of that. And then realizing, government realizing, criminalizing alcohol was impossible. People still either they made it in the tubs, moonshine, you know. And here's one thing that happened: NASCAR came out of moonshining. Moonshiners had to sweep up their cars to outrun the police. See, that's how it is. Crimes make legitimate business, and that's why. If you decriminalize things like prostitution, you stop stuff like sex traffic. Right now, in this country, you know, um, marijuana, you know, weed, you know, cannabis is almost legal. Compared to other drugs like cocaine, heroin, you know, crack, meth, you know, which really will kill people, marijuana's not that bad unless you lace it with something like angel dust or. Uh, familiar high what I heard but that's the thing is sex trafficking human trafficking is one of the things where they use where they make money from it use they take people and put drugs in them people will swallow balloons so they get to America it's just awful how people treat other humans and people who are so desperate because their life is so hard to take advantage of them and the worst thing is take advantage of children and women. Let's fight for sex trafficking. Let's stop it. But here's aspects of it. We have to legalize certain things. Because you take it out of the pockets of the criminal and put it in the pockets of the government. It helps out us too. Think about the taxes that come from if you legalize prostitution. You have to pay taxes on everything nine states. I know it sounds like it's crazy, but the fact is, you know, if you clean up something and make it better, you get something out of it. And I said it before, a lot of people, a lot of people of wealth made their money from crimes. You guys, the richest family in the world, how they made their money. This is man George Page. Like, subscribe. Don't like, don't subscribe. I'm out.